Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak regarding the best overall hero which we have in Call of Dragons and take a guess which one it will be. Of course, it's Thea. Tia have been one of the most popular since day one, most usable and the best overall hero which we have currently in Call of Dragons. In order for us to understand why Tia is so much popular and so many players are using her and why she is so strong, we need to understand her skill sets and synergies, what makes her, her so popular. First of all, as, a, as always, first skill in, on the hero is the main skill and for the Arbiter's Ward, Thea Legion gains a shield which absorbs 1000 damage for 5 seconds while also gaining synergy, increasing hero skill damage up to 15%. 15% is a quite a good number and 1000 shield factor is also pretty good second skill is about attack bonus up to 15 percent then hero skill damage taken there's more of a defensive style of uh skill 15 percent again okay let's continue uh, defense bonus 20 percent attack bonus 10 percent and march speed bonus 20 percent so what we understand so far a lot of buffs a lot of defensive stats and some shield right uh, for the fourth skill again yet another attack bonus stat for 10% and max attack bonus to 13%. That's a big amount of number, right? And for the awakening skill, she's generally like shielding uh, another nearby legion uh, with the 1000 shield. That's the main awakening skill. Why she is so popular, right? Imagine you are you having a supportive type of legendary hero who is giving you so many buffs that even epic hero sometimes feels like a legendary hero, right? And can you imagine what happens if you will give those buffs to another legendary hero? That's the main idea behind Thea, right? You are going, you are not going to deal damage from this hero, but she will give you so many buffs that it will feel like you are having double damage versus a like same type of uh, legions who has two offensive legendary heroes right like uh, attack bonus for 10 percent here is 10 percent again 15 percent here and 15 percent skill damage factor uh, percentage bonus right that's amazing amount of buffs amazing amount of numbers which is stacking to each other and that's what makes this legendary hero so strong and so popular in terms of awakening skill in my opinion it's not really a uh, hundred percent necessary to awaken thea simply because your main stuff is from the buffs from other four uh, skills and try to make them uh, level five and you are going to love this legendary hero and even if you are and especially if you are free to play players simply because you will be able to use her in many different hero pairs and that's the most perfect thing about Tia that uh, she, she is not strict with one or two heroes whom you can play with you can play Tia with almost every single legendary and epic hero and it's a good note to start speaking about hero pairs for this amazing hero and whenever you are speaking about hero pairs for Thea we need to understand that depending on your faction uh, it depends what kind of hero pair you're gonna match with Thea so let's start with Wilderberg um, and simply because I'm a Wilderberg player and let's say you are playing with Wyvern Riders right uh, Wyvern Riders it will be amazing if you will just put primary on Craig and secondary on Thea. That's the legendary hero pair and like epic and legendary hero pair which I'm running in this season and I have been so surprised how much damage I was dealing especially during wars right. It's well known that Craig is a simple epic hero with the epic hero numbers like uh, 800 damage factors, 300, 200 and the most perfect thing about Craig that Craig is getting so many buffs from Thea's buffs that sometimes I feel like I'm having Craig as a legendary hero and I'm dealing damage just like a legendary hero. Of course, the second skill 
uh, I mean the engineering skill which is really useless for the Craig that's a one bit part about Craig and playing with Craig but you are getting a lot of buffs a lot of similar buffs to Thea which is going to stack right for example hero skill damage deal to 10% same skill we have on Thea uh, here we are having attack bonus to defense bonus of course it's an epic numbers 10% but we also have same kind of skill with Thea which cannot getting too much stuck to each other right and of course awakening skill it's really easy to awaken uh, epic heroes you are getting simply more numbers in terms of damage like without awakening 600 and 300 and here you are actually dealing damage to two nearby nearest legions which is always profitable whenever you are fighting in a big uh, wars with uh, like a with and against big alliances so if you are wyvern player if you are wilderberg you are going to use craig and thea as your a main uh, hero pair for your special units uh, i think that's the best one so far in the call of dragons having craig as a primary and he as a secondary for the wyverns uh, some people are still running fragar with thea but i'm in my opinion syndrome and fragar is so perfect hero pair that you don't need to break them right that's why craig and thea working for me should work for you the next one will be of course uh, if you are a league of order player and if you are a league of order player you are playing with mages right and it's pretty normal and it's been a while for already that celestials like league of order special units are the best uh, special units in the whole game uh, in order for you to play thea with celestials you don't need to think much right there is two hero pairs for celestials and for thea in this case First one is of course Bertrand with uh, Thea. I like this hero pair simply because not only uh, about one part, but uh, whenever you have talent tree of the skill as a, as a mage hero, you are going to love the damage you are going to deal. Uh, Bertrand is a primary because of the skill talent tree and Thea is a secondary. Yet again, Thea will give Bertrand a lot of buffs. Skill damage factor buff is always great for the mage heroes and all the other buffs is really beneficial for the Bertrand. In terms of Bertrand and Thea's damage, uh, you need to stay alive longer. Thea gives you that kind of perk that she will do everything what's possible to make you alive longer during fights. And that's all you need for the Bertrand to be a big damage dealer because that's the gameplay in general Bertrand plays. So I think best, uh, best Celestial hero pair with Thea is uh, Bertrand and Thea. Uh, there is not nothing much to speak about this hero pair because you have to try it yourself so powerful it is uh, some like 1000 uh, skill like shield factor which Thea is, is giving to Bertrand is quite enough plus some defensive bonuses and defensive stats which Bertrand will get and that's all you need whenever you are playing Bertrand to deal a lot of damage 1300 which gonna rise of course because of the buffs you are going to get from the uh, Bertrand and Thea itself and the second hero pair for the Celestials is of course Atheus with uh, Thea uh, that's like more of course you are going to have less damage whenever play, you are playing with Atheus but you are going to use your skills way faster than you were playing with Bertrand right I think if you're gonna compare Bertrand and Thea and Atheus and Thea of course first one is a lot more stronger but let's say you are a free-to-play player, you just started playing the game, you don't have Bertrand, you are like you will always be fine if you are running Atheus as a primary, as Thea is a secondary, and you are playing with League of Orders, and you are running this hero pair with the Celestials. So Celestials have two kinds of hero pairs, uh, which is quite interesting. And next one is of course. Uh, spring wardens right whenever you are playing spring wardens generally you are playing with cavalry heroes and of course there is one perfect hero pair for the thea for the forest eagles uh that's of course forondil forondil is a primary thea is a secondary uh sometimes you can even mix, mix and max a match or like thea can be primary of course and for only secondary but i think uh, Forondil should be much better with the you know, with the primary hero rather than Thea as a primary. Of course, yet again, Thea will give Forondil a lot of buffs, a lot of survivability buffs. Of course, uh, some march speed bonus, which is always great whenever you are playing with cavalry. March speed bonus is one of the main bonuses you can get from the 
uh, Cavs hero pairs and of course a lot of stats which gonna be synergizing with the Thea stats and uh, yeah like you are moving super fast with Forondil and with Eagles you are having a lot of damage or a lot of defense and a lot of like you have you should be the fastest legion around the battlefield whenever you are playing with Forondil and Thea that's how fast you are going to get and actually that's the one in the main uh, hero pair for the forest eagles which are special units of the spring wardens uh, so far that's the first one and the last one in my opinion uh, there is not a best better hero pair for the forest eagle currently in the game um, that's the uniqueness of the thea in my opinion for every single faction you have a different kind of hero pairs which makes this hero so unique and so popular since the day one like before 450 days when i started this game uh thea was popular and right now thea is still one of the most popular legendary heroes in the game and not only overall type in general in terms of artifact well if uh, factions has different hero pairs for thea of course artifacts will be different kind of uh like choosing ability right uh, one and the main um, artifact for the thea generally which is um of course the visage of the sanctus um flying unit defense which means doesn't really matter which kind of uh, faction you are playing you are getting this buff uh, right because it says flying forest eagles are flying unit celestials are flying unit and wyverns are flying unit legion attack buff is great uh, because generally i like at least one attack uh, stats in the attributes section and in terms of skill strike of the light um, that's uh, generally the shield which you are getting um, from the artifact plus the shield with thea and here like additional effect which is one of the most important things regarding artifacts uh, Thea grants one stack of the mark of the judgment to the wilder when they are granting a shield to a friendly legion um, maximum stacks are of course 10 uh, rage skills clears all marks of the judgment stacks and triggers supreme judgment dealing damage to the target legion uh, 250 per stack you can you can calculate how much damage you are going to deal with this artifact I think this is the best artifact you can get on Thea now without mattering which kind of faction you are but let's say you don't have Visage of the Sanctums and you have other artifacts for your legions right at first let's start with the wyverns if you are a wyvern player uh, wilderberg you are playing with craig and fia shadow blades will be totally fine on this hero pair because you are going to deal a lot of damage and shadow blades is the thing what it does right it does a lot of damage nothing else uh, you are going to do with this artifact uh, in terms of other artifacts of course epic ones um, still hurt avenger and Heart Piercer is always nice, but uh, I al I always prefer you guys to try to get at least one legendary one. It would be much, much better rather than epic artifact. Heart of Gamasi, I wouldn't really recommend it. It will be my, my, like too much defensive uh, Wyverns uh, for you, which I don't like in general. Wyverns should be like more of a damage dealer. Uh, flying unit in around the battlefield uh, viola's bow is pretty cool uh, hp i like hp on the marksman's uh, everything what, what's going to make you stay alive longer is a perfect thing for marks marksman but not defense that's my own experience and that's what i think and of course terminating arrows is a pretty cool skill on this um, artifact dealing a lot of damage to couple to five nearby legions which is pretty nice if you ask me right uh the next one is gold crest of course gold crest can be nice and better on Sindarin and fragar but nobody said that we can't use gold crest on uh, craig and thea same as a, a guided crossbow we know margaret and zaida is the best users but you can also use guided bow uh guided crossbow on the craig and thea all right we finished regarding wyverns we can generally speak about mages and celestials uh, for the Celestials, I think there is like a couple of options. If you are running with the Bertrand and Fia, of course, Mirage Orb will be the most perfect choice with the Bertrand in your hero pair. If you are playing with Atheus and Fia, you can honestly go with Tear of Arborn, a more defensive one, healing yourself and healing your alliance members, or pure offensive one, which is Phoenix Eye, right? Uh, generally. Phoenix Eye and Shadow Blade is the same tier, same tier for the Blade player, and same tier in terms of strengths 
and they are quite similar if you ask me right uh, for the eagles, for the forest eagles, of course, uh, there is one main artifact, especially for Forondil, which is Oath of the Star Peak, uh, Cavalry Unit Attack, Legion Attack, great stats, and also uh, you are going to make clone of your Legion, which will deal 15% damage uh, to, to the enemy, like 15% strength of your Legion, right? It won't gonna be same Legion with full strength and full amount of stats, right? It will be 15%. That's why I think Oath of the Storm Peak is a pretty nice artifact. It's especially good for Forondil, uh, in my opinion. But if you don't have Oath of the uh, Storm Peak, I would suggest to run Spring Blades. That's like one of the best cavalry artifacts in terms of getting merits. And of course, this artifact is mainly for Emrys, but I think it can totally work on Forondil and Thea too. Uh, that's it regarding artifacts. Um, pretty wide choice depending whatever you are playing. And of course, next one is going to be uh, my favorite feature in the game, which is Warpets, right? Okay, let's continue one by one. If you are playing with Wyverns, you have two choices, which is Night Rock and Snow Peak Rock. Depending on your gameplay, whichever you will like, um, both of them will be totally fine. Uh, currently, I'm running Snow Peak Rock because I like this... Um, percentage attack bonus on on the luck uh, of course i'm not gonna do defense break i i understand i know that uh, snow peak rock is perfect for nico and kinara but you can use her use snow peak rock with craig and thea too which will be fine also and the night rock um, normal attack damage dealer crit rate damage dealer warp it which will be totally fine for the craig and thea hero pair in terms of celestials bertrand and thea and uh, atheus and thea uh, there is one most perfect choice, which I think is Sapphire Fedrake um, for the both of the hero pairs. But in addition to the Bertrand and Thea, I think Bertrand and Thea with Shadow Fedrake will be better. And Atheus and Thea will be much better with Sapphire Fedrake. Uh, both of them, I think, have a quite similar build path um, besides talent skills. And I think it doesn't really matter. If you only have Sapphire Fedrake, you can still use Sapphire with Bertrand. But the most perfect option for the Bertrand and Thea um, hero pair is Shadow Fedric. That's the Warpets for the Celestials. For the Eagles, for the Forest Eagles, um, I think for Forondil and Thea there is one perfect one, which is Berserker Fedric. Um, I think this um, Arrogance skill is perfectly matched with the Forondil's play kit. Uh, almost same kind of idea, cover this, some um, stacks. Uh, you are actually doing same on the Forondil, so it's quite similar in terms of uh, playstyle with the Berserker Frederick, Forondil and Thea. Uh, that's all regarding um, Warpets, which I think is quite important whenever you are building your hero pair. And I think um, for the Thea, Thea have been the one of the most popular uh, overall and not even overall, in general legendary heroes in the game, which I think will continue because it will be pretty hard for uh, Call of Dragons developers to make something even better, something that is so usable uh, with almost every single hero pairs besides infantry, but maybe in the future we are going to have flying infantry and Thea will be important on the infantry side as well. Alright, uh, of course, um, if you like the content, press like, subscribe, share, it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this amazing game. I hope everybody is going to have an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are, we are going to see each other very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.